What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode, episode 165. And of course, we are back with another episode and this week, we have a variety of stories to discuss. Now, we're gonna kick things off with Samsung's announcement of its new S23 lineup of smartphones. Now, will there be a big update or is this simply a refresh? Now, we're gonna address that here in a moment. And actually, speaking of smartphones, we're gonna take a look at the state of the smartphone market, which is not in good shape over the holidays. And we'll wrap things up with a look at how AI is changing photography and how rapidly it is improving what we can do as photographers. Now, we'll take a dive in that here in a moment. But first, friends, look, every single week, we put these videos together to keep you informed with small, little, bite-sized, little news nuggets. Now, of course, if you find some value with this video, you know exactly where I'm leading with this. We sure would appreciate you crushing the heck out of that like button. That said, uh, let's shift gears and get on to this week's headlines. Now, as many of you know, I am a iPhone guy. So that's what I tend to read when I'm looking for interesting photography news. But I have some, or I'm going to give some love to Samsung today because the company just released its new Galaxy S23. Now, there are actually three models. You have the S23, the S23 Plus, and the S23 Ultra. Now, these things get mostly basic updates over their predecessor. However, there are some interesting updates thrown into the mix as well. For example, the S23 gets a new 200 megapixel sensor. Man, that makes this thing sound so small. But anyways, it's supposed to be improvement over the ability in, to shoot in low light situations and at night. Now this has been a big focus of Samsung for quite some time. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much of an improvement this sensor is for low light photography. Now the new sensor is also capable of pixel binding, which allows it to change how it records photos and video at different resolutions. Now another noteworthy change is that Samsung has integrated its expert raw app into the phone's camera app and it's capable of shooting at 50 megapixels, which is a giant improvement over the 12 megapixel capability or capacity of its predecessor. Now, of course, the Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with tons of lenses. So you're getting a 23 millimeter equivalent wide lens, a 13 millimeter equivalent wide or ultra wide lens, a 230 millimeter equivalent periscope telephoto lens. That's a, that's a beast of a lens. Now, according to Samsung, each of these lenses gets an improvement of their ability to take photos in low light resolution, or I'm sorry, low light situations. So you can actually see really where Samsung's compass is pointed here. Now, all three S23 phones launch later this month. There's a link, of course, in the description below if you wanna pick up or actually get more details on these. Now, believe it or not, the smartphone industry is suffering its biggest decline on record. Now, according to the International Data Corporation, year-over-year -year shipments of smartphones have dropped nearly 20%. Now, part of the drop in shipments can be attributed to the current state of the economy, with inflation and worries about recession causing consumer spending to take a decline. Now, another culprit is the disruptions in the supply chain, which hit Apple particularly hard when the, all its factories in China went on lockdown due to COVID. And Apple's year-over-year -year drop was the smallest of the major corporations or smartphone companies here at 14.9%. Samsung really wasn't far behind at 15.6% drop in shipments. Now it's important to note that these declines in shipments happen during the holiday season. Now this is a time when shipments usually increase. Now, in fact, this is the first time that shipments for the holiday quarter were less than the previous quarter itself. Now it's also important seeing that we're kind of clarifying some things here to note that these were, we're talking about shipments, friends, not sales. Sales didn't necessarily tank over the holidays, but the drop in shipments of new smartphones shows that consumer interest just wasn't there over the holiday season. So does this mean that smartphones are on their way out? No, not at all. But it is a good indication that consumers really aren't ready to pony up the big bucks or the money for new pricey phones, not at least at the moment. Now there's no doubt that artificial intelligence is becoming more and more prolific in photography. So whether you are for it or against it, you have to admit that AI has completely changed how we work. Now, a good example of this is services like Neuropix, whose AI software can learn photography, your photography in a matter of a couple hours. 
and it's doing so by examining a small number of your images. Now initially, Neuropix needed about 6,000 photos to determine your photographer's style. Now analyzing that many images, as you probably expected, took a little while, it actually took about two days. And once the images were analyzed, a Lightroom plugin could then be used to process the new images in the same way as the old ones had been processed. But friends, this is not copying and pasting presets onto images. Instead, Neuropix adopts its adjustments to each photo to ensure it looks right, no matter the lighting or the subject matter of the image. Now you might be thinking, uh, well, wait a minute, Alex, I thought you said this only took two hours, not two days. Well, initially Neuropix took two days and needed 6,000 images to do its thing. But in a matter of weeks, the technology has improved so much that it only requires 500 photos to figure out a photographer's style, which of course takes a little bit less time, actually two hours to analyze the photos itself. So this is actually pretty slick. Again, we're talking about the AI program had taken such a big leap forward in such a short period of time. It's interesting to think that, wow, if we could fast forward a month or two months, so does this necessarily mean that AI in a couple months may only require 15 of your photos or 50 of your photos and 15 minutes of time to go processing these things? Who knows, but it is really accelerating really fast. Now, what do you guys think about AI's expanding role in photography? Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing or are you kind of in between? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, as you probably guessed it, there's a link down below if you want to check out more information on Neuropix. But friends, that is, that's, well, no, we have our giveaway that we get to chatter about here. So friends, with the news done for this week, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about our current giveaway. Of course, we have three great prizes up for the grab. Starting off with the Vanguard Veo adapter camera bag. We have the photo block from Sal Digital. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch or leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, get watching some of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing in by, say hello. We would love to see it. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck and uh, actually one last thing. Now, if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to uh, Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so and it gives you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and uh, yeah, much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And that, is now officially uh, all I have here for you today. Now, as always, friends, uh, look, we understand there's a lot of things on YouTube that can grab your attention. So we are honored that you have taken time out of your busy schedule, supported the channel, watched this video. Uh, hopefully we brought some value to you. And that being the case, sure would appreciate you hitting that like button down below, uh, the subscribe button, and last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video as like the one that you just watched here. Be certain to hit all notifications. But friends, again, thank you very much for swinging by, supporting the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be shutting off the camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.